hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my udemy courses all links are available in the description and you can also join my youtube membership motion pro which is just for 59 rupees and it will be a support for this channel you will get extra videos project files after effect tutorials advanced after effect tutorials blender tutorials cinema 4d tutorials and much more and if you want to learn more about motion graphics then don't forget to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation with this 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration also one minute and background color is white and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles of action. Then I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type my text over here which is motion and i don't want italic font uh, and i'm going to choose a regular font over here and change the color of this to black select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically i'm going to press s for scaling option and i'll scale the size then i'm going to select this layer and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll lock this layer over here or uh, let's select this uh, second layer go to the character menu and i'm going to choose red color for the reference and lock this layer now select this first text and let's remove this m select this hit ctrl d let's type o over here and let's uh, move this over here like this hit ctrl d and change this to t select this and let's try to move this over here hit ctrl d and let's make this i select this and let's uh, move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it change this to o select this and let's try to move this over here hit ctrl d and let's call it as n select this and let's uh sorry uh let's try to bring this over here okay so now we have each and every alphabet we will delete our reference layer we don't need that select all of these and press ctrl alt home to align their respective anchor points at the center like this then i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to bring them at the bottom and i'm going to change the color of them to yellow now select all of these uppermost uh, alphabets and let's hide them now select all of these alphabets which are in yellow color and press p for position and select their positions by holding shift i am going to select them like that right click and choose separate dimensions create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go somewhere around two second create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go to the start and let's move this from here to here or instead of that simply go to the align tab and try to choose align horizontally so all will come at this center and let's try to bring the x position over here then go somewhere around one second create uh, one keyframe at y and like that then in middle over here i am going to change this uh, value y value only up to this then somewhere around in the middle i am going to change the y value over here like this okay similarly over here as well let's try to bring this over here now in search option search for y so it will show us only y position keyframes let's uh, select sorry uh, let's select those uh, i'm going to select this portion i'll move this a little bit forward then select those keyframes and we are going to hit f9 to easy ease those keyframe go to the graph editor right click and make sure to edit speed graph zoom in a little bit let's go to the start select this and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here like that select this bring this handle over here this handle over here and this handle over here similarly select this move this over here and try to move this over here 
okay so if you see this now we are gonna get something like this okay but this is uh, too basic uh, and after this we need a little bit bounce so after this 10 frames i'm going to create one keyframe on y again and in the middle of this i'm going to bring this y position a little bit upward then go to the graph editor zoom in select this uh, and let's hit f9 select this middle portion by holding shift move this over here and move this over here move this over here and move this over here so we will get small bounce over here now along with this i need rotation so i'll press r for rotation to create one keyframe hit u and at this point uh, i need to rotate it on minus uh, two rotations so i'm going to type minus two for each okay so what we will get we will get something like this okay now hit u now uh, what i want them is to animate one by one so i'll take a distance of five five frames for each so i'll get some, something like that so with the help of open square bracket i can easily shift uh, each and every one of them over here so obviously we are gonna get something like this okay now let's select all of these alphabets i'll go to the character menu i'm going to choose white color for them and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color and let's make this stroke weight to somewhere around one or two it's totally up to you okay so we'll get this kind of text over here now i want there should be a uh, one ball should drop on this text so for that what i'm gonna do i'm going to select my ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse i'll delete the stroke i don't need that stroke and for the color choose black color like that select this and hit ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center now it, this animation i want should uh, start somewhere around at this point over here so with the help of open square bracket move this over here press p select create one keyframe then go somewhere around over here create another keyframe and at the start let's try to bring this upward and at this point it should touch the top portion select those position keyframes let's hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so obviously we will get something like this okay it's give us like falling animation stuff then select this hit ctrl d hit u click on this position word so it will automatically select both of this keyframe and try to move this over here like this and deselect this uh, and then try to bring this downwards a little bit then select this hit ctrl d hit u select both the keyframes try to bring this upward deselect this and let's try to bring this over here again hit ctrl d hit u select this try to bring this over here like this select this hit ctrl d hit u position move this over here deselect and try to bring this downwards select this hit ctrl d hit u select this try to bring this over here like this so obviously we are gonna get something like this now uh, after this what i want there should be a scaling animation so i'm going to select all these layers and i'm going to press ctrl shift d to split those layers and uh, hit u and uh, hit u to hide all of this then uh, select these layers by holding control and hit u and we are going to delete those keyframes we don't need that then press s for scaling option to create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's uh, increase the size of this till we will get something like this okay then select those keyframes and we will hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here okay so uh, we will get something like that then uh, select this graph again select this portion and by holding shift move this handle over here okay like this now hit u let's uh, go over here align that select this m enable this m over here bring this over here with the help of open square bracket move this over here and change the color uh, to the alpha mat over here so we will get something like that okay same procedure select this o which is this one hit ctrl x go over here hit ctrl v open square bracket and choose alpha mask same for this hit ctrl x 
uh, go over here hit ctrl v open square bracket choose alpha mask enable this t select this hit ctrl x uh, go over here hit ctrl v open square bracket and choose alpha mask select this hit ctrl x go over here hit ctrl v open square bracket and choose alpha mask now the last one hit ctrl x go to the top layer select this hit ctrl v open square bracket choose alpha mask so now if you see this we are gonna get something like this now we have to enable this text that's why we are not seeing it so if you see this we will get something like this but obviously we don't want alternation over here so i am going to take a distance of 5 5 frames and select these three layers and let's move this over here take distance over here select these three layers move this over here again take a distance of 5 frames select this move them over here take a distance of 5 frames select this and move this over here like this and take a distance of 5 frames select this uh, move this over here like that so okay so if you see this now we are gonna get something like this and let's try to move this over here now i'm gonna select all of these layers and i'll try to move this a little bit forward over here okay like that so if you see this animation we'll get something like this if you want you can try to move this a little bit from here as well like this so so it will start to animate a little bit early okay so we will get this kind of animation now after this i'm going to select uh, all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as animation and hit ok now when this animation is somewhere around at this point i'm going to select my pen tool then from here to here i'm going to create one line and let's change the stroke to black i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill and change this stroke to, to black only but stroke width i'm going to choose y select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then select this uh, somewhere around at three seconds with the help of open square bracket i'm going to move this over here press s for scaling option unlink this and create one keyframe go to around four seconds create another keyframe select those keyframe and hit f9 now go to the start and let's make this scale zero select those keyframe go to the graph editor let's select this shift hold move one handle over here which is this one and move one handle over here which is this one okay like that then somewhere around at this point press p to create one keyframe go few frame forward uh, let's uh, move this from here to here okay select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay so we'll get something like this now i want this at this point this m should be gone so let's select this text over here and we need to create mask for this so for that i'm going to select rectangle tool and i'm going to choose fill and choose red color for this fill and let's delete the stroke we don't need the stroke and for that i'm going to create this kind of rectangle and make sure this edge should touch this portion and let's press fit select this press mm -hmm. ctrl alt home uh, hit enter and let's call it as mask and let's try to bring this over here like this okay then uh, let's choose alpha inverted mask so it would be gone at this point okay or you can choose alpha mask or alpha inverted mask over here at this point and uh, if you see uh, this is not gone because we have to make this parent with this layer so let's make it apparent with this one and let's hide this so we will get something like this now let's try to create something else as well now after this i'm going to hit u let's select all of this and hit ctrl d and try to bring them at the top over here like that and select those layers and let's try to bring them over here like this now somewhere around at this point i'm going to select this layer 
with the help of uh, alt open square bracket i'm going to trim up to this over here like this then right click reveal reveal layer in source project and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'm going to replace it then go inside this and i'm going to select all of this stuff i don't need that and i'm going to delete this i want only this one okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this uppermost portions and i'm going to bring them backward so first we'll get this and then we will get this so if you see we are getting this animation first then this and then this then uh, this animation should end at uh, this point over here somewhere around at this point so i'll hit n over here and then press ctrl y to create one solid background then go inside this animation press f4 enable the motion blur also over this select all of them and enable the motion blur so now if you see this animation we are going to get this kind of text animations like that and this animation is going to be continuously okay and obviously you can simply right click new and create one adjustment layer and you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect because our entire animation is in a black and white format apply tint effect and you can swap these colors and whenever you want and you will get different results you can change this to red as well it's totally up to you and you will get this kind of animations you can swap these colors you will get this kind of structure okay so uh, i'm going to keep it as somewhere around like purple or something for me but uh, you can go with that black and white format as well i would like to choose this color format so yep this is how you can create this kind of creative looping text animation inside of after effects Thank you.